բարեզ ես հարգելի բարեկամներ սպրքի ձայնը հեռուստահանդեսը դարձալ ձեզ հետ է։ Այսօրվա մեր հաղորդում ուզում եմ սկսել ձեզ ներկայացնելով Հայամերիկյան առողջապահական միության հերթական հավակույթի մասին մեր պատրաստած ակնա discuss past activities and future plans, and have a joyful dinner as one unified APO family. After a welcoming remark of APO's chairman, Dr. Larry Najarian, the board member, Dr. Arthur Kubikian, asked the attendees to introduce themselves. This year's meeting included a special presentation by Dr. Anik Kalajian, who spoke about psychosocial and spiritual well-being. Dr. Kalajan is a founder of Association for Trauma Outreach and Prevention at Meaningful World, UN-affiliated NGO organization. In her PowerPoint presentation, Dr. Kalajan spoke about a variety of subjects connected with the path to spiritual welfare of an individual. So, um, that is humiliating. You know how many years I hear in therapy, people come, they're in 45 years old, 50 years old, and they're saying, my mother said I'm stupid when I was six, and it's just stuck here, and I can't do anything right because I keep thinking about that. Or my mother or the father hit me in the in front of my uncle. That was, uh, I felt humiliated. So these things, words are very powerful. They're magnets. If they're positive, they're attracting positive uh, words and actions and deeds. But when they are negative, they're worse than a gun because with a gun, we see the wound and the blood, but with the words, we don't. And it goes in there and it stays. And we don't have external drives. We don't have USBs and we say, okay, this is not good for me. This emotion, I'm going to put it on this USB drive and put it out in my external drive. We don't have that. Now, w when we eat something that doesn't agree with us, what happens? The body has its wisdom and you vomit or have diarrhea to get rid of that. But emotional stuff, we don't have that automatic. We need to work on it. We need to express our feelings. And a lot of Armenians, at least the, the, the people around me, they always are hiding your emotion. Don't let anybody hear it. Oh, what if the neighbor hears you have this? Or what if your uncle hears? Uh, we're so externally focused. Let everybody alone. Do the right thing yourself. And it, everything, it would, everyone would respect that. So let's try to identify a safe place, a private place to discuss our disagreements and find some ground rules in terms of how we want to live our life. She paraphrased inspirational quotes from renowned philosophers and political activists, spoke about eight steps of physiological and spiritual well-being and discussed the impact of the trauma suffered by the victims of mass atrocities that is passed on to the future generations. She also spoke about the concept of horizontal violence, when population oppressed from the top turns violent against one another. The oppression over the years uh, causes horizontal violence. And this is a phenomenon well researched, research based, in that uh, with oppressed groups of people, such as African Americans and women and uh, Latin Americans minorities that are being dis discriminated. So usually it, the, the pressure comes from top government down, state and uh, you know those who have the leadership and uh, it builds in the, in the person or the community and uh, they try to communicate to get some of the pressure off but there's no communication with the government. So the uh, uh, frustration grows high, high, high and then it explodes. When it explodes, it explodes sideways. And who's there? My poor brother and sister. I'm killing them in some way or another, physically, emotionally, putting them down. They have a word for this in um, Sierra Leone. They call it pulling down syndrome. Pulling down syndrome. And in uh, Texas, they call it the crab in the bucket phenomenon. You know, when you put 10 uh, crabs in a bucket, one tries to get up out of the bucket, the other one pulls them down. We, I see that we do 
sometimes the same thing. We have to stop. It's horizontal violence. In her presentation, she also touched on her friendship with her mentor, neurologist, philosopher and humanist, Viktor Frankl. During the dinner, members of APO discussed numerous activities and events planned for the future. Uh, the year for APO is an exciting year. Uh, this is a milestone year. It's hard to believe we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. And tonight we acknowledged the mission that our uh, three founders, Dr. Nabek Kasabian, uh, Mr. Koren Nabandian, and Ner uh, John Nersesian uh, have left us. Uh, it's a great legacy, and we'll be honoring them uh, this year uh, for that. And uh, what are we doing that's so special? Well, uh, we're very happy to have reawakened the spirit of working together with our Armenian brethren and colleagues down in the Delaware Valley, southern New Jersey area. Uh, they got together for the first time this year uh, with our guidance and support, and they're having their third meeting on Friday, June 13th. Uh, that's very exciting. It's a growing group with lots of energy and lots of excitement. Uh, we're also very excited. Uh, we have a mission coming up. Uh, we just got approval this week from the new health minister of Karabakh, and we have the support of Yerevan as well uh, to do a medical mission. This will be one of four medical missions dedicated to treating a disease that's very prevalent uh, in that region, uh, thyroid disease. In addition, We'll be following up this mission with continuing education through our collaboration with Armenia Fund, the High Bridge Telehealth Program. We'll be able to communicate with the doctors we train as we're working in Karabakh so that they can have more knowledge and go on to treat themselves. And that also is part of the magic of APO, how we collaborate with other organizations to leverage our skill sets. So we know that. 450 Armenian health care providers that we represent in the tri-state area can impact the lives of thousands and thousands all across the country. Sandar va Antaskin, Garama Sevor Pavagan Parka Bajetsank, Yemir Antamerun Tiva, Yotanasuningen Hair, Yotanasungi Parsrasav, Uning Shat Nor Yerdasat Ujer, Gorshat Kanahadelie, Amem Marzerumesh, Pishkagan, Teakor Zagan, Nursing, nursing, psychology, amen, jurerumech. Gasnik, polorin, betkerun, polor marzerumech, arochabagan, martgain, kidagan, ev, ail marzerumech. We have a future plan. Uh, this summer, we are planning to send two uh, anesthesiologists and several surgeons to Yerevan and uh, perform complicated surgeries. In Yerevan, we are focusing on thyroid surgery which can be a difficult task, and thyroid problems are uh, endemic in Armenia. So we are trying to help them, and we are trying, we will try to also help with Armenian doctors and hopefully teach them the techniques we are using in the United States. So APO is uh, very involved with Armenia. Because of APO's activities and organization's significant contribution to the health care of our community, Many new and young members have recently joined the ranks. Um, I joined APO because it's a wonderful organization for Armenian American health professionals in that we can come together and make progress uh, in terms of collaboration and making uh, medical, nursing, various different fields and healthcare advances together. Uh, hopefully, these collaborations will help us in terms of. Um, our mission, not only as Armenian Americans, and as well as health professionals on the whole. I joined because I know APA was very involved in the community, and I think with my mental health background, I can contribute a lot to the group itself and give back to the community as well, especially since it's so focused within my culture. I know every member has such a different background, so it's such a diverse group, and I think bringing together such a diversity with one ultimate goal is the most beneficial way to help Armenians. The growing number of its membership, many activities and projects planned for the future, and overall sense of enthusiasm and excitement among the organization's members stood as a testament that APO remains strong, continuing its important work of providing health services to Armenians within our diaspora and to our compatriots in motherland.